The scent of mom's pot roast filled our modest suburban home as I sat at my usual spot at the dinner table, laptop balanced precariously between my plate and a stack of programming books. Sunday family dinners had become increasingly tense since I'd quit my stable job at the local bank to work on my trading algorithm full-time. Still playing with your computer games, Sarah? Aunt Jane's voice dripped with condescension as she passed the mashed potatoes. I thought you'd have grown out of that phase by now. I kept my eyes on the screen, watching as my program processed millions of market data points in milliseconds. Six years of work, three advanced degrees in computer science and mathematics, and countless sleepless nights had gone into this phase. She calls it an algorithm, my sister Emma supplied helpfully making air quotes. Apparently it's supposed to predict stock market patterns or something. Meanwhile I just made junior partner at Anderson and Meyer Law. Dad sighed heavily, swirling his wine. You had such potential Sarah. Vice President of Regional Operations by 30. Benefits for 01k stability. And you threw it all away for, what did you call it? Quantum enhanced machine learning applied to high frequency trading patterns. I answered quietly watching another successful prediction flash across my screen. And I didn't throw anything away. I'm building something revolutionary. Revolutionary. Uncle Bob scoffed. Like those Bitcoin people. How's that working out for your bank account? My mother set down a fresh basket of rolls. I just worry about you, honey. Cooped up in your old bedroom all day with those computers. When was the last time you went on a date? Last week, actually, I muttered. With the head of MIT's quantum computing department, we discussed potential applications of my neural network design. That's not a date, Emma rolled her eyes. That's another one of your nerdy meetings. Like that conference call you had with Japan at 3 a.m. last Tuesday. That call had been with one of the largest investment banks in Asia, but I kept that detail to myself. The NDA I'd signed was thicker than Emma's law school textbooks. At least tell me you're applying for real jobs. Aunt Jane pressed. My friend Linda's insurance company is hiring. Entry level, of course, since you've been out of the workforce, but... I'm not looking for a job, I said, checking another data stream. My algorithm is in final testing phases. The results are exceeding all projections. Projections. Uncle Bob laughed heartily. Listen to her talking like a real Wall Street type. Sweetie, those guys have billions of dollars and entire buildings full of computers. You really think you can compete from your childhood bedroom? If only they knew about the quantum processing power I'd quietly acquired, or the revolutionary mathematics underlying my code. The traditional computing metrics they imagined didn't apply to what I'd created. Sarah, Dad leaned forward using his serious parent voice. You're 32 years old. It's time to rejoin the real world. Whatever this hobby has been, it's time to be practical. You know what's practical? Emma chimed in. My Christmas bonus. Or Jessica's new position at Goldman Sachs. She gestured to our cousin who sat quietly at the end of the table. Jessica shifted uncomfortably. Actually, there have been some interesting developments in algorithmic trading lately. Our firm is looking at several new. Oh, not you too. Aunt Jane interrupted. Let's talk about your promotion instead. Senior analytics or whatever fancy title they gave you. I hid a smile. Jessica's discomfort made sense. She'd been part of the Goldman team evaluating my algorithm for the past three months. The NDA prevented her from revealing that she knew exactly what I'd built. I'm just saying, Jessica tried again, some of the new trading technologies are quite revolutionary. Especially in Quantum Enhanced. Quantum Enhanced. Uncle Bob roared with laughter. Now you've got poor Jessica using your made-up words. What's next, time travel? My phone buzzed quietly, a message from my patent attorney about the final documentation, another from the Swiss Investment Group, a third from the quantum computing facility in Singapore. Speaking of time, mom interjected, isn't it time you moved out, honey? Your father and I support your interests, but surely you could rent a small apartment. I glanced around my childhood bedroom that now housed several million dollars worth of custom computing equipment hidden behind innocent-looking IKEA furniture. The small apartment fund had gone into quantum processors instead. My current setup works for now, I said diplomatically, watching another market prediction prove accurate on my screen. Six months of live testing, not a single significant error. Works for what? Emma demanded. 
Besides draining mom and dad's electricity bill? My phone lit up again, Goldman Sachs private line. The one Jessica had helped establish. The one that was about to change everything. Excuse me, I said rising from the table as my phone continued to buzz. I need to take this. Really, Sarah? Dad frowned. During family dinner? Let me guess, Emma smirked. Another, important business call, from your bedroom startup? I glanced at the caller ID, catching Jessica's eye across the table. She gave an almost imperceptible nod. She knew exactly who was calling. Actually, I said my finger hovering over the accept button, it's Goldman Sachs. Uncle Bob nearly choked on his pot roast. Goldman what? Hello this is Sarah Chin, I answered putting the call on speaker. The elegant British accent of Goldman's head of quantitative trading filled our dining room. Miss Chin I trust we're not interrupting? We have the entire board on the line along with our quantum computing division and legal team. Dad's wine glass froze halfway to his lips. Emma's fork clattered against her plate. Not at all Mr. Harrison. My family was just discussing my algorithm's potential applications. I couldn't resist the small dig. You're on speaker by the way. Excellent. Then they can all hear the official offer. After six months of testing, your quantum-enhanced trading algorithm has exceeded every benchmark we established. The error rate is unprecedented, quite literally 0.0001% over millions of transactions. Aunt Jane's dismissive smile had frozen on her face. The board has approved our final offer, Mr. Harrison continued. $7.2 billion for exclusive rights to your technology, with an additional $2 billion in performance incentives over the next five years. Plus, of course, the director of quantum trading position we discussed should you wish to stay on. Mom's casserole dish slipped from her hands, saved only by Uncle Bob's quick reflexes. The number hung in the air, $7.2 billion. More money than everyone at the table combined would earn in a thousand lifetimes. I assume Jessica has kept you updated on our due diligence? Mr. Harrison asked. All eyes turned to Jessica who straightened in her chair. Yes, sir. I've been overseeing the evaluation team these past three months. Sarah's algorithm performs exactly as promised. You knew about this? Emma hissed at our cousin. Andy, Jessica shrugged, finally free to speak. But I've watched her system make trading decisions that would take our best team's hours to analyze. It's revolutionary. Dad had gone pale, likely remembering all his lectures about stable employment and realistic goals. The quantum processing component is particularly impressive, Mr. Harrison added. Our tech team is still trying to understand how you achieved those speeds with such limited hardware. I glanced at my childhood bedroom door, behind which sat the most advanced private quantum computing setup in the country. I had to get creative with the resources available. Creative indeed. The Saudi Sovereign Fund has already offered $8 billion, but we're hoping our long-term partnership proposal will prove more attractive. Uncle Bob made a strangled sound. Eight billion. Miss Chin. Another voice joined the call. This is Regina Walsh, head of legal. We can have the paperwork ready within the hour. The first transfer would be five billion upon signing, I completed having memorized the terms. The remaining 2.2 .2 billion after integration testing, plus stock options and the performance incentives. Emma's legal training finally kicked in. Did you say five billion? Today? Within the hour, Regina confirmed. We've already received clearance from the SEC and Federal Reserve. Ms. Chen's algorithm is, quite frankly, too valuable to risk losing to our competitors. The pot roast had gone cold, forgotten on bone china plates as my family struggled to process what was happening. My laptop continued running simulations, each successful prediction now carrying the weight of billions. So, I said into the heavy silence, about that real job at Linda's insurance company? Aunt Jane's face had gone through several shades of red. But I didn't realize. Obviously, I replied coolly. Mr. Harrison, I'll need an hour to review the final paperwork with my legal team. Can we reconvene at nine? Of course, the Goldman exec replied. The quantum computing division is particularly eager to begin integration. Your processing architecture is... Well, it's unlike anything we've seen. Dad found his voice. Legal team, you have lawyers. A team of 12 actually, Jessica offered. 
Top firms in tech and finance law. Sarah hired them months ago when the bidding started. Bidding. Emma's lawyer instincts surfaced. You mean Goldman wasn't the only. JP Morgan offered six billion, I confirmed. Morgan Stanley came in at 6.5. The Saudi fund at 8. But Goldman's quantum division makes them the better strategic partner. Mom clutched her chest. All those nights we thought you were playing computer games. I was revolutionizing financial technology. I finished. Those 3 a.m. calls with Japan? Their central bank testing my system. The dates? With professors? Quantum computing consultations. That electricity bill you complained about? Powering a computer system more advanced than most government facilities. But, but your bedroom, Uncle Bob sputtered. I smiled. Want to see what's really behind that IKEA furniture? Without waiting for an answer, I led the shell shocked family upstairs. Opening my bedroom door revealed banks of specialized equipment, cooling systems disguised as closet organizers, and quantum processors hidden in what appeared to be gaming computers. This setup, Jessica explained, her Goldman training kicking in, is more powerful than our entire New York trading floor. Sarah basically built a supercomputer in a suburban bedroom. Using the inheritance from Grandma Chin, I added. The one you all said I was wasting on, computer parts instead of a down payment on a house. Emma ran her finger along a cooling unit. How much is all this worth? The hardware. About 30 million. The algorithm it helped create. Well you heard the offers. My phone buzzed again. My legal team confirming they were ready to review the Goldman contracts. Below that, messages from tech journalists who'd caught wind of the deal. The Wall Street Journal wanted an exclusive. Miss Chin. Mr. Harrison's voice came through my phone. CNBC is requesting a statement. Your algorithm is about to become very public. Dad sank onto my childhood bed looking dazed. My daughter is about to become one of the richest women in the country. World actually, Jessica corrected. Once the Saudi fund leaks their offer, the tech stocks in Sarah's portfolio will skyrocket. We're looking at a net worth close to 15 billion by market open tomorrow. Mom's hands trembled. Fifteen billion? Give or take a few hundred million, I shrugged. The quantum computing patents alone are worth billions. Speaking of which, I turned to my phone. Mr. Harrison, please have Dr. Zhang from MIT on the integration call. His quantum expertise will be crucial. Already done. The entire quantum science community is buzzing about your breakthrough. Emma stared at the equipment surrounding us. All those times we made fun of you for coding in your bedroom. Those coding hobbies, I said, just revolutionized finance. Anderson and Meyer's pension fund? Already set to profit from my algorithm. The family stood frozen, surrounded by proof of what I'd built while they mocked me. The quantum processors hummed, solving in seconds what used to take days. Sarah, Mom whispered, we didn't understand. No, I replied, checking a message from Goldman's lawyers. You didn't. Big ideas rarely make sense to small minds. My phone lit up. $7.2 billion deal incentives a Goldman Sachs directorship. Every insult, every doubt, paid in full. Now, I said leaning back, I've got paperwork billions to move and new tech to deploy. Just hobby stuff. They left quietly. I stayed with my machines and my algorithm. Through the window I saw the same street where I once dreamed of changing finance. Those dreams were no longer dreams. They were real.